Welcome to part three of the tutorial series Live Wire from Scratch. My name is William. In this episode, I'm going to teach you about Live Wire layout file. The layout file is used to render full page components. Our components are injected in the layout through the slot method, through the slot placeholder. The layout file is located in the resources components layouts, and the file by default is called upload blade you can be able to create more than one layout file and use them i would like to just go to our application where we had the counter up and just check our file which is um, views and then components then layouts inside here we have a file called app.plate so our layout file looks like this we have the slot where the page component will be passed and then we have the title. Obviously, because this is a layout file, above here we can be able to pass other meta tags apart from the cassette and the viewport. We will be able to talk about those ones in this tutorial episode. When we launch our component as a full page application, as you can see, we have page title being displayed above here. And that page title is being set in this head section here. So where we have title and the title is being passed. So if the title is not being passed, then we can be able to have a default value, which is going to be called page title. I would like us to look at how we can be able to pass in a title to our page so let us go ahead and uh, because this component is um, the component that we are looking at is the counter component whose view is this one we created it some time and then we have the live wire counter we can be able to pass our header in this case our title to the header uh, section through two methods, which I'm going to illustrate. The first method we will use is to use the attributes for title. So in this case, we can just type here, use live wire, attributes title like that and then now before immediately before our render method we can be able to set our title in this format so you save hash and then the open uh, square brackets title and then we have brackets and then inside here we can pass our title so here we can say my counter pitch like that after that we can save it and now when we refresh as you can see now our title has changed to my counter pitch we can also be able to pass the title using a different method. So let me go ahead and comment out what we have just done now. It is still possible for us to chain in the return view inside the render. We can be able to just return, chain, chain the title. We can be able to chain the title just like this and then pass in my awesome title i want it to be slightly different from what we did in the previous example such that you can be able to notice the change so when we refresh again it seems it's taking a while so let us see so title, my awesome title. Uh, 
let me see again it is passing now our to the head section our new title which is now what we have called it or some title so basically those are two ways sometimes you might find that you require to pass more than one thing for example when you are working with meta tags so that is what i would like us to talk about so let us go ahead and uh, pass a little bit more not just the title but also the other meta tags the meta meta keys key, meta description and maybe an author so let us do it for this one and we are going to just change here instead of just passing title we are going to say layout data like that and inside here we can have arrays of values so what we are going to have i put some square bracket here then we can be able to pass everything that we require to pass so for example we can say meta title and maybe meta meta keys the keywords let me call them meta keys and we can set them to because already we have yes we can also pass the title so meta keys and we can have maybe key one these ones are just words for seo key two and so on and so forth so depending with whatever it is that you're working on and then we can be able also to pass in the description meta description as follows and of course we can say some description like that and then maybe we can also pass in the author we can say meta author and also say mr james somebody like that and lastly we need also to pass the title because still also the title will be required and we can say maybe my very awesome title like that now in our view we have to be able to accept these uh, tags and so what we are going to do is we are going to go to our layout in our layout file inside resources views components layouts up to the plate. then inside here we can be able to have all those other meta tags so for example we can have meta and then the name is uh, this, uh maybe keys keywords like that keywords that way and then the content we can now be able to pass in the content dynamically and we can say meta keys remember these are the ones that we are setting as an array in our in our component class and then we can be able to just copy this severally so the next one is a description And here we can have it as meta description and then the last one we have it as meta author or something oh, author like that meta author so here we can talk about author then of course the title let us pass it there so let me save 
and attempt to refresh and see what happens. Undefined meta description. So let me see. So this one it's not set from uh, the back end. Maybe I can just go and copy it. How have we typed it in? Now counter meta description something of that sort so we are going to copy and show it here in our layout so where do we have the layout yes here meta description we paste it there so again if we refresh we can be able to check if it was just a typo yes it was a typo so you can see we have my very awesome title which is the title that we are setting in our counter.php even if i want to remove awesome and just save and retry you will find now it will be changed now it's my very title but if we view the page source as you can see now we are passing in our meta tags perfectly i want us to talk about rendering different layout views it is possible that in your system you might be having different layout files for example one layout for the dashboard the login dashboard and another layout for the fr the front and in other in other words whatever it is that is displayed without login so there are two ways in which you can be able to do it and the first way is using attribute like we have it here so let me just copy this and now the attribute that we are going to talk about is called layout and now if we import or in other words we import attributes layout then we can be able to use it in a similar fashion so here we can come and say our layout and then we can pass in the name of the layout file that we want to use. So in this case, we only have one layout file. You can say app dot, I mean layouts dot app, layouts. So we, we are checking the component, the component page. And then if it's inside the folder, now we talk about the folder. So the folder is layouts components layouts why is it not showing it yes components layouts and then our file so basically we can say layouts as the name of the folder dot app like that it will be able to now be forced to use this specific layout but at the end of everything if you have a, a, a layout that is called layouts or app that will be taken sort of like the default but if you want to specify now you can be able to do this let me just refresh to check if everything is working perfectly and we have layouts dot app not found let me just check why that is the case. It seems these are yes, app components, layouts, and then app dot blade like that. So in this case maybe I don't know if we will require to write components like that. Let me see if that will work. When we refresh now it's working perfectly so basically we're supposed to put the full location of our layout file it is also possible instead of doing it to chain it in a similar way in which we chained the title so you can still be able to pass it in here maybe somewhere here and just say layouts layout like that layout 
and inside here you can pass component layouts dot app something of that sort i would like to remove this one and we attempt and see if this other one is going to work i also comment out the the attribute we refresh we see if it is still possible for us to render it and now again you can see components it's supposed to be components not component it's supposed to be components then layouts then up something of that sort when we refresh and again you can see it being displayed perfectly so basically you do not require if you have only one layout file you can remove this but if you have more than one layout then you can be able to specify as i have illustrated in the examples that have given thank you very much for following this tutorial video up until this point Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. By doing this, you'll be notified when I upload another awesome video. If you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up and share it. You're welcome to engage in the comment section. Thank you.